Hey what is up guys I am from NC Cyber Records and in this video we will be doing a quick unboxing and quick review of this Zen Cinemax 2 which is recently launched in India at the price tag of 4199 and it is exclusively available on Flipkart for buy. So if you guys are going to buy this smartphone then you can buy it using our link which is provided in the description section below if you want to help the channel out. And one thing I Oh, I wanted to say, tell you guys that I have noticed on YouTube that none of the YouTubers, tech YouTubers, do unboxings or reviews of the budget segment smartphones. So we have created one playlist called Budget Smartphones Reviews. You can check it out by clicking this card here. Right now this playlist have only two videos but we'll come up with the more videos of more reviews of the smartphones budget smartphones with good specs and good price under 5000 rupees because we know that everyone cannot afford premium smartphone this is how the book box looks like you can see this is the sense and mx2 on the right side of the box we can see it is written that it have a 5.5 inch of qhd ips screen which is which is the main highlight of this smartphone we also get the protection kit with screen guard plus protective case and the second highlight of this smartphone is that it have a 2900 milliampere battery which is awesome in this price range here's the quick specs it have an android 5.1 lollipop 5.5 inch qsd ips screen 1 gb ram 8 gb internal memory 5 megapixel of autofocus with flash rear camera 2 megapixel of front camera 1.3 gigahertz of quad core processor up to 32 gb gb expandable memory dual sim 3g plus 3g which is not good so guys let me tell you that this is not a 4g smartphone so we can see that here we can notice that the con of this smartphone that it is not a 4g smartphone so this can be the one con of this smartphone we can notice here uh let's move on wi-fi bluetooth with headset connectivity and blah blah here we can notice the mrp written on the box is 5000 rupees but as i have told you before that you can get it for rupees 4200 from flipkart so go and buy it using our link which is provided in the description section below and we can also notice the SAR values, it is 0.66 volt per kg for head and 0.571 volt per kg for body, you can see and notice here. It's time for my favorite thing, let us now break the seals. <laughs> okay. So you can see, okay, it's break. Let me now open the box. So, hold on. Okay, so yeah. Okay, guys, so first thing we see is the smartphone itself. You can see it is the huge 5.5 inch display. Let me keep this thing aside and see what else we get in the box. So we get this thing. We have this chit. We have this charger. Let me open it. So guys this is the charger we get here we can see the LED light for to check whether it is plugged in or not here we have the plug-in for USB cable to you can plug in from here and there is no rating for this charger written over here put is 5.5 volt and 1.5 amps if you can see 
we have this USB cables USB data cable you can see we have these earphones standard earphones from Zen with mic we have this 2900 milliamp power battery which is pretty heavy I would say let me open this thing and hey we have the battery mm, I don't know what is this so yeah we have this battery let me see what is written do not there are some warnings written over here made for Zen 4.2 voltage 2900 milliamp power battery Lion looks like it is very heavy more than 100 grams I would say let me keep this thing aside and we have this Zenkill you can see this is the user manual and the customer care number is written over here this is the warranty card plus user manual two in one I would say and it is written in the English language the SAR informations and how to use the phone things like that so yeah it's pretty useful I would say and the last thing we see is let me get it let me get it out of the box first so yeah we have the screen guard we have this screen guard which is pretty good in this price range they have provided the screen guard looks like it's a tempered glass of it's very good quality uh, screen guard I would say so thanks for this to Zen we do get this back case for the phone you can see it's kind of plastic and the quality is very good I would say in my opinion there are some holes for the camera speakers power button and volume rockers so this is very good things and have provided in this price range I would say definitely now let me keep all these things back to the box and I'll be back so here we have the two main things the smartphone itself and the 2900 milliamp power battery so first of all let me show you the first impressions of the Zen Cinemax 2 right now on your screens so yeah it's a very very huge display I would say the 5.5 inch huge display the looking wise phone is awesome I would say in this price range and the screen I'm in love with this the screen quality is sorry the screen size is very catchy in this price range I would say so here we can see some of the key features are written over here of this smartphone that it have a 5.5 inch of QHD display 1.3 gigahertz of quad core processor Wi-Fi Bluetooth and gyroscope sensor Android 5.1 lollipop 5 megapixel autofocus rear camera and 2 megapixel of front camera 2900 milliamper of huge huge battery and uh, rubber painting battery cover 1 GB RAM and 8 GB internal storage which can be expandable up to 32 GB this is the 3G smartphone this is not the 4G smartphone so this can be the one con of this smartphone we can notice here let me remove this thing and here is the huge display huge huge display of the phone and right now I cannot feel any you know this is not very heavy phone but uh, we have not inserted the battery so we cannot say anything and 
we can also notice the SAR values here also we have two SIM slots SIM A SIM B and both are the regular SIM cards you don't need to cut it for nano and micro and I am confused in one thing that there are three slots this slot is for the micro SD card you can insert the micro SD card over here up to 32 GB here you can insert the regular SIM card you can see it is WCDMA and here you can insert the GSM SIM card regular so I am confused and I am not sure about this thing so you can configure it by calling the customer care number of the Zen which is provided on the box of this smartphone anyways let me insert the battery and let me insert the battery and put it back to the so guys oh my god this is very heavy i would say this is very very heavy looks like it's more than 180 grams i would say so guys this can also be the one of the con of this smartphone it have a 2900 milliampere battery so it's obvious that it will be heavy but mm, yeah it's very heavy but it's good the phone looking wise the phone is very good and the build quality is awesome in this price range only 4200 rupees okay guys so let me power it up power it on so this is the main thing main animation of the phone powered by android zen mobile while the time it boots up let me give you a physical overview of this smartphone at the back mm, hold on at the back we have a 5 megapixel of rear camera with flash here we have zen branding speakers at the top at the top we have a 3.5 mm audio jack a USB port for data syncing and charging at the right side we have a power button at the bottom we have the primary microphone at the left side we have the volume rockers at the front we have the 5 megapixel sorry 2 megapixel of front facing camera earpiece some sensors 5.5 inch of huge display 3 touch capacitive buttons and I cannot notice any secondary microphone for noise cancellation so yeah and if you can notice the screen size is pretty awesome it's like my full hand is covered by this phone it is 5.5 inch of display in this price range which is good okay guys so let, let us now come in the phone and let me complete some formalities English skip 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 anyway next got it swift keyboard is pre-installed in this phone out of the box not now next more more next these are some of the formalities the first boot we can say got it so we are now in the phone and this is the UI user interface let me control the brightness first the it looks something like mm, jelly bean I would say the user interface is lollipop something like yeah so it's good user interface is quite responsive yeah it's quite responsive the touch is pretty slow I would say I have noticed some kind of lags in touch so the touch is not so good but yeah I can it can also be uh, the issue of the screen guard because there are no screen guards inserted right now as you can see in the menu and bar that there are a lots of plot we are installed in this phone like Flipkart, Quaker, OLX, Snapdeal, Clean Master and blah blah Savan. So we get a lots of plot we're 
pre-installed in this phone out of the box you can see let me check if we can uninstall it or not where is the settings first of all let me check the android version of this smartphone so it is running on the android 5.1 lollipop and i don't know if it will get the marshmallow update in near future or not let me check the storage as i have told you before that it is 8 gb rom font so we get 4.63 gb of bloatware sorry 4.63 gb of internal storage free out of the box but still we can make it more free by uninstalling some bloatware first of all let me check if we can uninstall the bloatware or not oh here's the flipkart app yeah yeah we can uninstall the bloatware you can see so yeah we can uninstall the bloatware and make some storage and ram free by this thing right now 501 mb of ram 518 mb of ram is free out of the box out of 1 gb which is quite interesting and you can uninstall these shitty apps like clean master which comes pre-dotted in this phone if you want to make more uh, ram free you can uninstall all the bloatware not all you cannot uninstall all the bloatware but still you can uninstall so yeah these are the bloatware you can uninstall 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so you can uninstall all these apps and make more storage free and ram for your smartphone for your zen cinema x2 and you can do this thing directly by going to settings delete applications select all click on this uninstall apps button and configure it these are some of the pictures i have clicked using the 5 megapixel rear camera of this smartphone the pictures comes out pretty decent in my opinion although it does not give the quality of 5 megapixel but still it's good in this price range we have some uh, games preloaded in this phone like dino fly angry gorilla nazara cricket let me play one of this um, cricket game mm. <laughs> it's pretty good game but i don't know how to play it still i have mm, given a four mm, i don't know how to play this game <laughs> This smartphone is not meant for heavy gaming. Sorry, this smartphone is not meant for heavy gaming, but still you can play some games in this flawlessly. Guys, okay, so now let us quickly check that whether USB OTG is supported on this smartphone or not. I have this USB OTG with me. You can see. Let me insert it in in the phone. Here's the USB port. Let me insert it. Mm, yeah, it's quite inserted and right now I cannot see any message any notification for the external hardware or storage Let me quickly go to File Explorer and check out there also mm, So yeah, I cannot notice any message and Notification of external storage so we can say that USB OTG is not supported in this Zen Cinema X2 It's quite obvious in this price range and I have not expected it to so that's all for this quick unboxing and review of the Zen Cinema X2. If you have any questions or confusion regarding this video and this smartphone, you can ask us in the comment section below. And reminding you again to buy this smartphone using our link because it does help the channel out. The link for the same is provided in the description section below. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please hit that red subscribe button below on the right side here. It will take less than a second. Hit that red subscribe button right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll catch you in our next video. Till then, stay techie.